What's up guys, it's Zach from TechSource and welcome to another build right here on the channel. And as you guys can see, the format is slightly different. So we're gonna be building a custom black and blue gaming and productivity PC with water cooling parts. And I know I haven't done a water cooled build in such a long time. So I figured now's the time to bring those back on TechSource. And I'm actually gonna start doing more of these in the next few months, so stick around. This is also a very special project for me because once I'm done building it, we're gonna be auctioning this through eBay for one of the charities that I picked, which is I Have a Dream Foundation. The charity provides support to young people from low income communities from kindergarten all the way to college. So all the proceeds that I make from the auction will go directly to them. And to help with this, I have teamed up with Intel and Seagate. So huge thanks to them for partnering with me and making this video possible. So let's take a look at the parts real quick that I picked up just for this build. Starting out with the processor, we're gonna be going with the i7-8700K. It's a six core processor, which is great for CPU intensive tasks, whether they're streaming games or doing graphic design or editing videos, stuff like that. So a very solid pick for that. Over here, we got the case that we're gonna be using. This is the Corsair 740, Corsair Air 740 case. It's a full ATX chassis. And one of the things I really like about the case is not only is it large enough, especially for a water cool build, but also the airflow is amazing. And it's split into two parts. So I can hide the power supply, extra cables, and even the hard drives behind the actual case. Usually when I do these types of builds, I don't put too much focus on the actual storage device. So we're gonna change that up this time around because we're gonna be doing something a little different. We're gonna be using the Intel Optane memory and we're gonna combine it with the Seagate four terabyte Barracuda hard drive. For those of you that aren't familiar with Intel Optane memory, it essentially gives you the ability to achieve SSD speeds, but at a cost of a hard drive. This is really great for people who are on a tight budget. People who can't necessarily afford high storage SSDs because essentially you're paying for a hard drive and you're combining it with the Optane memory stick which doesn't cost that much more and you're getting SSD speeds and more storage at the same time. Since we are using a Coffee Lake CPU, I went with the MSI Z370 Gaming Pro motherboard. Okay, so a few other parts I picked up. Uh, I did pick up some blue paint because I'll be custom painting some parts of the case. Uh, I feel like there's just way too much black in there and this is a black and blue build. So I wanna add some blue contrast in there to kind of blend nicely with the overall color scheme. A few other things I picked up, of course, I have to have my custom cables. These are from Cable Mod. And each of these cables already come sleeved with their brand new aluminum cable comb. And then we got some fittings, of course. We got some in blue and some black for the soft tubing. And for RAM, I went with the Trident Z RGB sticks. Of course, these are 32 gigs, and I went with four sticks because I wanted to occupy all four slots on the motherboard. I almost forgot about the GPU, and a lot of you guys know I love doing overkill builds with SLI, which is unnecessary. It's the tech source style, but I decided to change things up a bit and go with a single GPU, and we're going with none other than a single Titan XP, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not too concerned about the green GeForce logo on the side here because we are gonna be taking this apart and we're gonna be adding a GPU block on here. So you can't even see that. And finally, we have the star of the show, guys. This is EK's Fluid Gaming Kit. This is the all-in-one water cooling solution. Perfect for beginners who wanna get into water cooling and also it doesn't break the bank. They have several different kits to choose from. I think it starts at $150 and it goes up to $240 for their high-end fluid gaming kit, which is actually the one I'm using right here. This is the A240G. This kit comes with everything you need to do a fully custom water-cooled build. It comes with a CPU block, GPU block, it's got soft tubing, and of course you get a pump and reservoir combo with a 240 millimeter radiator. Now because this kit comes in only a single 240 millimeter radiator, you guys do have the option of adding more on the side. EK does sell these separately. These are expansion packs for the fluid gaming kit you have options to add a 120 millimeter radiator as well as a 240 millimeter radiator as well. And these come with their fans already included, which is pretty cool. One thing I do wanna mention is that the entire Fluid Gaming Kit is made out of aluminum parts, which is why they're lighter and they're more affordable. There's a lot of people out there that are paranoid about galvanic corrosion by mixing metals, but the thing about the Fluid Gaming Kit is that it's all made out of aluminum, even the expansion packs, so you guys don't have to worry about mixing metals, and that way galvanic corrosion does not even occur. In fact, the performance difference is not that much when you compare EK's Gaming Fluid Kit to a high-end custom loop PC featuring brass or even copper. Parts. But anyways, with that said, let's finally take these apart and put together 
the PC. I'm also going to show you guys the installation process of the Intel Optane memory. Let's begin. So the fan configuration is going to be slightly different in this case because it's so big and there's so many places to mount radiators and fans. Uh, basically what I've decided is I want the top radiator to be an exhaust and everything else will be essentially intake. So cold air coming in from the side over here, cold air coming in from the bottom, and cold air coming in from the side over here. I'll be mounting one radiator on the top here and the other 240 will go on the side. And that is the configuration I'm going with. And I'm going to be using the new Corsair RGB fans. That way I can just sync them all together with the Commander Pro and control the RGB lights. <laughs> So the build is finally complete and I'm calling it Glacier. It's powerful yet silent and I think I did a great job putting it together. The custom paint job combined with the custom cables from Cable Mod as well as the blue coolant really makes the entire build pop. The backplate on the GPU was looking a bit too bland and I don't like showing off those silver screws so I reached out to V1 Tech and they sent over one of their custom made backplates for the Titan XP and it's looking a lot better. I also wanted to cover up the backside of the fans that are facing down because the cables are visible so I decided to throw in some fan grills again from V1 Tech. Alright, so before we dive into the temps and performance, I do want to talk a little bit more about the Optane memory since that is what this PC is running on. To set it up, it's very simple. Just insert the Optane memory module into your supported motherboard's M.2 slot and screw it in place. Afterwards, you will need to get into your BIOS and change up a few settings. You will need to switch the SATA mode to Optane mode as well as changing the following settings as well, whichever options are available to you. Next step is to download and install the Optane memory software, which I will link below. And once you are done with those, just open up the application, enable Optane memory and restart your PC. It's as easy as that. 
So as you begin using your PC, the Optane memory module will learn what data you need to access frequently and cache it on its memory to speed things up. Basically what this means is that if you constantly use the same applications over and over again, your PC will take note of those applications and open up them faster. This affects a lot of things like boot time, launching games, loading saved games, and everyday tasks like transferring data, using email applications, and even Windows search. In fact, I tested this out by comparing the loading speeds to my SSD, and it's actually shocking to see that even in some tests, the Optane memory combined with the Seagate hard drive proved to be faster than the traditional SSD. The only downside is that you won't be able to fully optimize the Optane memory for applications that you don't use often, as well as large file transfers. Those will be transferred from the hard drive normally. Overall, I do think the investment is worth it because you save a lot of money in the process. You get crazy high capacity, I think up to 12 terabytes, and you get SSD speeds. Imagine having a 10 terabyte SSD right in your PC. Minus the premium price you would have paid for it. But anyways, if you guys want to check out the Optane memory and the Seagate Barracuda hard drive, I'll leave a link to them below. Now let's get into the good stuff, the performance. This all-in-one fluid gaming kit for EK is amazing. I don't know if you guys are ready for this, but check this out. I was able to push my 8700K to 5 gigahertz. And just for reference, this comes stock with a base clock of 3.7 gigahertz. So that is a 1.3 gigahertz overclock. I had to push the voltage all the way up to 1.4 volts in order to achieve this, but the system is stable with great temps thanks to the Fluid Gaming Kit. The GPU temps are also very impressive, 31 degrees on idle and only 55 degrees on full load. That is with an overclock by the way. An extra 200 megahertz on the core clock and 600 megahertz on the memory, pushing the Titan XP to a stable boost clock of 2012 megahertz. Needless to say, gaming was a joke in 4K resolution. Over 60 FPS and high settings for PUBG, well over 100 for GTA 5 on very high settings, and over 60 FPS on Destiny 2 on the highest settings. There is nothing this PC can do, and the best part about all this is how quiet it remains. I lowered the fan speed on all the fans to 60%, which is around 1000 RPM per fan, and the entire PC is dead silent. I can say without a doubt, the Fluid Gaming Kit from EK is hands down one of the best investments you can make for your PC. If you want to get into water cooling but aren't experienced enough, or maybe you just want a silent PC with cool temps and better performance, I mean this is the kit for you. No need to stress over what parts are compatible with your PC, what size fittings you'll need, uh, what reservoir pump combo, spending hours of your life bending tubes, I mean everything is already included in this kit. Like I said earlier, they do have different tiers, starting at just $150 depending on what parts you want water cooled in your PC. If you ever want to expand your loop, EK does offer expansion packs which are sold separately, whether you want a larger radiator, different colored fittings, a larger reservoir, different colored coolant, I mean there is a bunch of options to fully customize the gaming kit to fit your color scheme. But please keep in mind that if you end up using their fluid gaming kit, you have to stick to aluminum parts because mixing metals will damage your PC. From my time using the EK Fluid Gaming Kit, I have to say I am very impressed. Not only because of how easy it was to put together, but also the performance you get by spending just a little bit more. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, tossing a like would be awesome. But if you guys didn't, I encourage you to leave a dislike. That's completely fine too. Again, a huge thanks to Intel and Seagate for sponsoring this video. If you guys want to boost the speeds of your PC, make sure to check out the Intel Optane memory with the Barracuda hard drive from Seagate. I'll drop everything mentioned in this video down below. As I said earlier in this video, this build is being auctioned off for charity and the organization that I chose is the I Have a Dream Foundation, where they provide support to young people from low income communities, from kindergarten all the way through college. And you guys can find more information for the charity link below as well. Thank you again so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.